Hello guys and welcome back. Well today is Sunday the 7th of May so a very happy birthday to my mate Chip and you're with me today here in the grounds of the Oxford Gun Company and the woods uh, behind me are where Keith and I built. That's Eric the Peacock. The woods behind me is where Eric, Keith and I built the uh, squirrel hide just before Christmas. So we're back here this afternoon. We're going to sort of half past two start. There's been a quite a bit of activity there. There was two on there just now when I got here. So just done a zero check on my rifle, so 20 yards. Um, Keith is all set for 20 yards because because of his ratting he did the other night. So as soon as he gets here, we'll get ourselves into the hide and uh, settle down for an afternoon squirreling. So look forward to seeing you later on. Right, well, Keith's with me here in the hide. We're settled in to do a bit of squirrel shooting. So we've seen a couple on the, the trail camera at one time. There was two here when I got here first thing, so it's a bit of a case of sit and wait and see, but we're going to make this video up just and leave it sort of with the rough edges on it so that people can understand that squirrel shooting isn't normally as you see on the television, like they're all coming in their hundreds. Sometimes you have to sit and wait for an hour, an hour and a half, but and then a magpie comes in. But um, I've got the master today, the legendary grassy knoll, Keith Mahoney. Ain't ya? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's even signing autographs at the Oxford Gun Company. So uh, we've both got FX Mavericks today, both two twos. Um, we'll see what was going to happen. Uh, both got a couple of thermal spotters so we can get, hopefully get a bit of thermal footage as well for you. So hopefully, lots of hopefullys, we might get something for people to watch later on. Got anything to add to that? Hopefully. Grassy no, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Brat. <laughs> On three. One, two, three. That must have hurt. Well, I gave him 25 grains. What did you give him? 16. What's that? 30, 30, 31 grains of lead. No wonder he's a bit annoyed. So the next one's quite an interesting one. We both shot it and it disappeared down the back of the tree and we both thought that's where it would be. But um, we'll keep an eye on the video. Keep watching, top left hand corner. Keep watching. There he goes. At least let him have something to eat. What should we do? Oh, no. Let's let him have a nap. Are you all ready to go? Yep. One, three. Yep. Yeah, let him have another nap. One, two, three. So don't be misled by this video thinking that squirrels go straight to the feeder. In some cases they were taking five to ten minutes to actually go and feed. So they're a bit fidgety this afternoon. Time for a little snackette. Five down, one to go. Last scene over there, wasn't it? This one's blind in my eye, my one. Exactly. I'll do it on three. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. The other thing going here in the afternoon, sort of mid-afternoon, the sun was over to the right-hand side of us, sort of shining straight. So we were shooting at silhouette some of the time. Not ideal for you as a viewer, but um, you have to sort of make the best of what you can at the time. Just like that. You can see the silhouette there now that I'm talking about with that sun coming straight in from behind him. So it's not the best of times to do videoing. Oh, 
That's what we saw earlier, that's the buck. And then his girlfriend. And there's a squirrel. So again, this was shortened by about sort of 10 minutes, I think, from uh, when you first saw that squirrel going up the diagonal. He's looked at all his dead mates. Straight in there. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Most of these squirrels were milky does, so I think by the size of them they were still pregnant, so that's absolutely done the woods a great favour. I wasn't even ready. Oh, I thought you said you were going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Speechless. There's still there's still one more out. That's the good thing is your your gun being so quiet. His mate, which is up there, forty odd yards away, won't have heard that. Right. The, so the sound that a grey squirrel makes is sort of a wheezing, like a sore throat cough sound. I've said before, it's it's almost like undoing a brass nut off of an exhaust manifold. You know when they're dry, yeah. it's <laughs> sort of noise. That's the only way I can sort of describe that. That rusty sort of bolt sound that they make. He's up, he's up there, one forty odd yards away up there when that O2 came in. You know what the problem is now? We've got another odd number. We've got seven, haven't we? Can't can't go home on a seven. The only person that won anything on number seven was Barry Sheen. I'll show me age now, so there'll be kids saying, who the hell's Barry Sheen? I've got to give a certain age. Well, we knew who Barry Sheen was. There's Keith with a huge heap of squirrels. Thanks very much for sticking around and watching the video. I hope you found that interesting. And please remember to click on that subscribe and notification bell. And we'll catch you again for a bit of fox shooting. See you later. Cheerio!